So I'll talk to you today a little about phase swapping. Okay, so phase swapping means transferring a face from a source image onto a face appearing in a target image, <clears throat> retaining the same pose and expression of the target while attempting to generate realistic, unedited looking results. In this example, uh, we, want, we want face swap to work even on the most challenging cases. So in this example, we have different poses and different expressions. Okay, in this example, we have an object partially occluding the face. And in this example, we have different domains all together. What do you see here? So the face of Bill Clinton is swapped in, is swapped in with the face of George W. Bush. But because of Bill's hair, you can still easily recognize him. This effect is based on a very well-known um, trait of human visual perception, that both, both the internal cues and the external cues of the face are important for face recognition. I will now show you uh, how face swap is actually done in practice. Um, so first I'll show you how the classic methods did it, and now I did it in my previous research. So most classic methods, they use 3D morphable models, 3D MMs. Those are PCA models of 3D scans of faces. Okay. So at the first stage, we treat both input images, the source image, and the target image the same way. First, we reconstruct the 3D shape of the face from a single image. We extract the face landmarks to find the initial pose of the face. We fit the Swedish shape to the facial expression. And finally, we segment the visible parts of the face. In the last stage, we generate the texture from the source image, wrap it on its corresponding 3D shape, and transfer it to the target image. Finally, the output image is comprised from the rendered image from the last step, blended with the target image. Another way to do face swapping is called feature disentanglement. In this, in this method, we first learn to encode and decode images of faces while separating the feature vector into two parts, the facial context and the facial appearance. To do the actual face swapping, we take an image I take an image of a different person, encode its feature vector, and swap in, and swap in the identity of our original person, and then encode it back into an image. The last method I'm going to talk about, I call it the direct method. Okay, so in this method, in this method, we, we train a direct mapping from the, source, from the images of the source subject to the images of the target subject without paired examples. Okay, so um, in this example, we, we can use, for instance, a cycle dependency loss proposed by CycleGun. Okay, so we, um, and I'll show you an example. So this is defects. Um, okay, this is another example of the direct method. Uh, the problem with defects is that if you don't have enough data uh, of each of the subjects, you will get very, very distorted results. Thank you. <laughs> 